Hi guys, Michael Battenfield here with Battenfield Horsemanship. And today I wanted to show you some tips and some techniques to help you saddle your horse better. Now, I know what you're saying. You already know how to saddle your horse. Well, I just want to give you a technique that I believe could really help you. I've seen people of all shapes and sizes and heights um, apply this technique and it allows for you to saddle your horse much easier. So let's get started. Okay, so whenever I saddle my horses, I like to saddle from the right side. And there's a few reasons why I, why I do that. Uh, one of the reasons is that it allows your horse to get comfortable with you doing things on both sides. You know, we, we uh, bridle from the left, we unbridle from the left, we halter from the left, we unhalter from the left, we saddle from the left, we unsaddle from the left. You know, it's everything we do is on the left, mounting, dismounting. So the right side doesn't get a lot of stuff done uh, to it. So, I like to saddle my horses from the right. Another reason that I like to saddle from the right is because I'm just a little bit on the lazy side. So that way I can throw my saddle up here, I can get my girth set, I get my back cinch set, and I can walk around to the other side, and then I'll strap it all up. I don't have to make a bunch of trips back and forth. Normally what we do, is you want to saddle from the left, walk around, drop your girth, walk back around, then hook everything up. So this way you don't have to make a bunch of trips back and forth, which is really important expect when you're uh, starting colts, because you know when you start a colt, you want everything to go clean and smooth. All right, so now I have my saddle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give the saddle a nice little toss up here. And see how smooth that went up there? You know, it wasn't slamming on the horse. It wasn't uh, banging the horse's back with the stirrup. It went very, very smooth. It was extremely easy. All right, so now we're going to talk about why that works so well. There's something called kinetic energy. So kinetic energy, a way to think about kinetic energy or some examples is say a bull whip. If I take a bull whip and I give it a flick about like this, there's energy going to roll through my arm, down the whip, all the way to the end. So it starts off with my hand going about this fast to the tip of the bullwhip breaking the sound barrier and making a pop because that energy is built as it went to the end of that whip. Another way is um, you look at MMA fighters or boxers. Whenever they throw a punch, they're going to squat down, they're going to push on from, a, from the knees from their hind leg while rotating the hips and shoulders and punching at the same time. And what that does is it takes this hand that weighs about as much as a brain and allows professional fighters to deliver a blow of up to 1,800 pounds per square inch, which is extremely hard, and that's why they knock people out. So we use similar techniques with throwing the saddle on. So I'll take my saddle, and it's almost like throwing a punch. And that kinetic energy starts my feet, runs through my leg, through my hips, up my arm, all the way to the end of the stirrup. And that's why the stirrup stays out as it goes over and lays down nice and smooth. So I'm going to show you real quick how easy this works. I'm going to have a volunteer come in and demonstrate throwing the saddle on there. All right, guys, I have Tracy Mahan here with me. Tracy is a uh, fellow trainer of mine. Um, Tracy, how tall are you? Five two with her boots on. So we have a gal five two with her boots on. She's lucky if she weighs a buck. You know this saddle here probably weighs right at forty two or three pounds. So we're going to, we're going to demonstrate how well this works by taking uh, uh, a very small lady and throwing it on a very large horse. So this horse probably weighs I mean probably is what fifteen hands tall, fifteen and a half hands. Pretty pretty tall barrel horse. So I'll have Tracy demonstrate throwing the saddle up there real quick. Let's see how her hand is going to be rested over the seat. She uses her legs and it tosses over. Really easy, very simple. When I do clinics, a lot of times I'll teach young girls to do this in the clinics and I've had very little uh, high, petite high school girls who had trouble throwing their saddle up throw their saddle over their horse onto the ground on the other side because they didn't expect it to be that easy. 
So thank you for uh, helping out, Tracy. All right, guys. So again, squat from the knees, rotate hips and upper body and arms all at the same time. One fluid motion. Saddle goes over nice and easy. Doesn't bang your horse up. Your girth's over here. You can lower that down nice and easy. No problem. Get everything set. You don't have to walk back and forth from side to side. All right, guys, I hope that this video has helped you out. I hope that saddling is much easier for you in the future. I do recommend that you use a fence of some sort to throw your saddle at the beginning, especially while you're learning so you don't end up banging your horse up while you're trying to learn. Um, if this video has helped, go ahead and subscribe you know, down at the link below. Uh, if you want to get more of my YouTube videos, there will be many more to come. So uh, thanks a lot, everybody. And remember, check out battenfieldhorsemanship.com for, mo for more information on training, on little private lessons, on clinics, and demonstrations. Thanks, guys. Have a blessed day.